Well, for some reason, today's video came out with no sound. And so here is my video with me doing a voiceover. I started out uh, by showing uh, a couple of days ago, uh, using saran wrap on the clay, I could smooth the clay uh, and it would uh, do a great job actually uh, of smoothing the clay and uh, some areas where the uh, clay had little rough areas I was able to put the saran wrap, wrap on and smooth out those areas and using a tool I could do the same thing uh, and it wouldn't uh, pull on the clay and it distorted. It was just a little hack that I I saw somebody else using in a video years ago and I just completely forgot about it and I was trying it out there. Here I am today and I decided to uh, work on his fingers and I started with this uh, index finger and I'm cutting it off like I did on the uh, statue of Christ and so therefore I'm not going to be showing you how I did all this because quite honestly I'm I don't know how much of my talking you can take. <laughs> anyway, I cut the finger off. And I had a lot of work to do on it. And I put it on uh, a magic marker just because I needed something to support the uh, clay. Because it doesn't have an armature in it, so it would be bend easily. Here I've put the hand back together with all the fingers. I still have the back of the hand to work on, but I'll do that another day. Um, I tilted the uh, clay forward, and I'm showing here some of the deep holes that I've got and deep crevices behind the arm and between the arm and the body of uh, Sitting Bull, and I've got to fill that in with clay, and that's what I'm getting ready to do here. And the reason I did this at this angle is because it's very hard to stand up in my studio because the lights would be in the way, and and I need the light to see what I'm doing. So I'd have to tilt the clay. I got everything filled in. I've uh, filled in behind the hat's brim next to the body. Um, I've got underneath the arm to do yet, and I will show you here in about a second, I think. Uh, but anyway, I'm basically talking about what I'm gonna do on it. I've got to uh, tilt the clay backwards tomorrow and I'll be getting underneath the arm and underneath the hand because there's a big hole there and underneath the, the hat and underneath the robe. So there's some filling in to do and then I've got hair texture to do as well. That's going to be it.